What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more ranked battles for Regulation D in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Trick Room team that actually features a Pokemon that I haven't showcased in this game yet. We got ourselves a Cinderace team today. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Cinderace, a top tier Pokemon. Everybody loves this guy from Sword and Shield. Really, really cool fire type with a great ability, Liberio, that allows it to change its typing into whatever move it is actually using. So, cannot wait to use this Pokemon, but it is on Trick Room Team, so it's very situational. First Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Armor Rouge. Can't really have a Trick Room Team without Armor Rouge. It's got Flash Fire, the Life Orb as item, Rocket Armor Cannon, Expanding Force, Energy Ball, and Trick Room. Second Pokemon is Armor Rouge's best friend. It is indeed with the Psychic Surge and the Eject Button. It's got Psychic, Helping Hand, Follow Me, and Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be War Moon, and War Moon is not part of the Trick Room side. This team really has two ways you can actually play it. You can go in with a more speedier side with War Moon and Tailwind, or you can go in with Trick Room side with the Armour's and Didi. War Moon as Protosynthesis, the Booster Energy as its item, Rock and Acrobatics, Breaking Swipe, Tailwind, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is Ursaluna, and in Regulation D, this Pokemon in Trick Room can hit like an absolute truck. It's got Guts and a Flame Orb with Facade, which is Sab, and then it's got Headlong Rush, Rock Slide, and Protect. Annihilate is in our fifth slot, and everybody knows Annihilate's top tier. Ever since it's been released in the game, it's just phenomenal stat wise and move wise. It's got Defiant, Leftovers as item, Drain Punch, Rage Fist, Bulk Up, and Protect. Final Pokemon is the star of the show. It is going to be Cinderace with Liberio and the Choice Scarp as item, making it as fast as possible. It's got Double Kick with the Fighting Terror type, Pyro Ball for Stab, Trail Blaze for Speed Boost, and for Stab if you want to change the type with Liberio, and it's got U Turn to pivot out. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, run the code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Cinderace Trick Room team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, we're going up against a Trick Room team with Dragonite. Orangaroo is going to be their main Trick Room center. I feel as we should be fine with this, right? I could go into Annihilate, potentially bulk up turn one. A Pokemon that we have to watch out for is going to be that Ursaluna. Because again, that thing is always a problem, but I do like the Water Terror on this thing. I feel as we can get some work done. So, you know what? I'm going to end up leading you. And I'm going to bring my Ursaluna, right? I got to bring my Ursaluna. It just seems like the play. It definitely seems like the play. We'll bring Arm Rouge in the back end. Oh, if we want Arm Rouge. Maybe we just won't even bring Cinderace here. I really want to bring Cinderace, but this just seems like a full-blown Trick Room battle. So, we'll go Trick Room. We'll go Trick Room versus Trick Room and try to get things started off hot here in match number one. Then try to get Cinderace out there in match number two. But, uh, yeah. I, th I feel as we should be fine here. I mean, Ursaluna... And Annihilate going to be very, very powerful, especially if we can, you know, set up what we want to. We got Guts on him with Facade. We can get a bulk up up, potentially. Things could look very good for us, so we're hoping they're going to go Orangaroo and set Trick Room on their own. And there it is. There's Orangaroo. So these two come out here. Um, I go in with my boys, and I'm going to bulk up. I am definitely bulking up here. The bulk up's going to come out here, and I could just drop a Headlong Rush into that thing if I want to. I could Protect. I could Rock Slide. I do have Bug Terra. But, um, hmm. Do I want to go for a headlong rush? Maybe. I kind of want to do as much damage to Guja, so we don't really want it setting up. So, yeah, you know, I'm going to go for a headlong rush. I think that's fine. So, I'm going to bulk up here. Get some turn one here. Maybe I should just uh, drain punch into Guja. We'll, we'll see how this one plays here. He's going to try to encore me. He's trying to encore me. That's terrible. And he goes for a shelter. So, that's why we went for the headlong rush. We want to get off as much damage as we can. So no Trick Room comes out here. I don't mind it too much, but uh, Body Press is scary. Body Press is scary. So Headlong Rush doing some big time damage. Dropping our defense, though. But we are going to Guts up here. We are going to Guts up here. So I might Drain Punch into... I might Drain Punch into Udra here. And then just protect my... Protect my Ursaluna. That's going to be my play, because I, I feel as they're, they're potentially coming after Ursaluna, right? Especially with the low defense and the body press. So they're going to harass slice Gudra. What typing you got with that? Fairy, of course, of course. It's always the worst terror type. It's always the terror types you don't want to see. <laughs> it's always that. So Protect comes out from the Ursaluna. We'll see what they want to do from here. Ursaluna's huge. Thing's massive. 
And Drain Punch is going to fly, do like 5.5 damage. Are you sheltering again? Please don't shelter again. I mean, I do have my boys in back end, but we do make a good read on the Protect. So let's see what Orangaroo is going to do. He's going to Instruct, and he's going to go for a double body press. So that's that's fine by me. We're protected. We are protected. We're blocking up. We're throwing some shields up here. So shields come out here. Um. Huh. What's up, player? Do I bulk up again? I could. I could definitely bulk up again. Could definitely bulk up again. I mean, we have to swap our Ursula. I'm going to save it for later. Um, we could go into Indeedy here. I'm going to go for stat boost. So I'm going to go for stat boost. I am going to... Terror in the bug, and you know what? I think I might do that. Terror in the bug, and just look the facade and pick up KO. I need to get rid of Gudra. Right, I'm gonna terror in the bug here. A little bit of bug terror. We're going for the bugs. We're bugging out. We're bugging out. We can't be normal type, and it's just gonna KO. So we need to switch. But we need to get off a of turn here. I know my defense is down. My special defense is dropped, but I still feel as we're fine here. So Protect comes out from Oranguru. That is fine by me. That is fine by me. A little Protect turn from Oranguru. We're going to be able to get off a free bulk up. We're plus two on defense. We're plus two on attack. Rank battles are always so much better than casual, man. These are some good battles. He's going to shelter up again. Okay. Thank God we didn't sw uh, switch out Pokemon. The facade now pops here. How much damage are you doing here? Yes. We'd like that a lot. We'd like that a lot. we really enjoy that. We really enjoy that. So from here, now, I mean, Gujar can protect. It obviously can. And it might. So I'm just going to rip it to a Drain Punch. I could bulk up again. I could bulk up again. And you know what? I am going to bulk up. Actually, I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this time to get some damage off on that thing. And I'll just facade across the board onto Gujar again. If it protects, it protects. It's fine. He ends up just withdrawing a rank through. I mean, that's no big deal. And who are you going to go into? Dragon X can come out. So we're going to get off multi-scale, which is pretty good for us. Um... An air move is going to be a little bit of a problem. And he, but he did not protect. So that's actually fine by me. He did not protect the Gudra. So Gudra's going to owl life, dude. Ho, ho, ho. Can we KO with this facade? I'm hoping. That's close. That's cutting it real close. Can you do it? Can you get rid of this thing, please? This thing's a powerhouse. This thing's a powerhouse. So this thing now, we could... I'm thinking of just protecting. I'm thinking of just protecting and maybe just rage fisting that down. Um, he's probably going after Ursaluna. Life dude's such a problem, man. It's such a problem. It really is. Um, it's such a problem. That did some good damage over on the Dragon Knight. I'm going to hard swap my Ursuluna now. I think Gudra might just protect her, even like the again. So I'm going to hard swap Ursuluna, get my defensive stats back. And I don't mind a Jack button back into Ursuluna. I don't. Or I go into Armors. It really depends on the situation. We're going to set this train if he wants to E speed. That's fine. Drain Punch is going to do a ridiculous amount of damage. Get some HP back. And it's weird that we outspeed that thing. I could have just KO'd the, uh, the Gudra. So now Gudra, what do we think uh, Gudra's going for? Maybe a body press. I think I really want to try to set off Trick Room. I really want to get Trick Room out here, so I'm going to go Armors. Heavy Slam come out here, that's fine. So we're able to soak pretty well. Um... We took some damage, so Rage Fist is going to do more damage. So I Rage Fist the... Uh... Do I Rage Fist to Gudra? It is an option. I think we do. I think we just get rid of the Gudra here, and we try to get off the Stricken. So let's do that. Let's try to get some speed going here from, from my squad. We'll have Ursuline later, but yo, rank battles are where it's at. Always so good. This should KO. We should finally be able to get rid of Gudra here. Cool. Finally, get rid of the Absolute Bulk. We want it gone. But this is big time for us. That's big time. 
Because now we should definitely be able to get off a of trick room. Unless this thing's rocking like sopping cans from. It is, of course. Can we use soak? I think you should be able to. You do. I love you, Armors. You're my best friend. They're able to soak up pretty well. They can't use first turn priority moves. Trick room is now out and about. So we are playing this one really, really well. Um, this is why I love ranked battles way more than casual. Like, a lot of thoughts going here. Our opponent's playing really good. We're playing pretty good right now. And we're just making right calls. Like, it's so much harder, but it's so much more satisfying to play ranked battles. So they're going to go into Iron Hands. He can't fake me out, which is pretty good. We're kind of hoping that our moves is a bit slower. But from here, I could bulk up again. But I'm going to Drain Punch, KO U, and if I can get this off, I'm going to throw this into this slot. I can get off this. This will potentially KO him. And he ends up, wow, he goes for the Wild Charge into that slot, which is weird. You should have KO'd my arm rouge, because now you just now you just gave me a big time play. E, e force coming out here. KO in the Dragonite. We're gonna KO the Iron Hands. That pretty much wraps up the match. Big mistake on our opponents and they were playing really well up until then. That one play really really threw them under. Should have taken out my arm rouge. You, you had speed control there. You had first turn. And you don't. And you don't. So the arm rouge comes in here, pops the trick room, annihilate, clutching up with the two bulk ups, able to soak up a lot. That's gonna be game. It's gonna be game. They got one more Pokemon. We still have as I think we still have everybody, right? Yeah, we still have Ursula Luna. We still have Indeedee. So we're gonna sweep after a long and drawn out battle. The Rangaru comes out here. I don't mind it. Looks pretty cool with the pink. But see you later, man. I'm gonna train punch you down. Actually, we might not get the sweep. We might not, but we're gonna try for it. Battle was canceled. There's a sweep. 1 0 to get things started. Got things started off hot in today's video. Looking to go back to back and looking to actually use Cinderace in this match. Considering we did not bring him in in that last one, I might just lead him. He seems like a pretty solid lead. I mean, he has double kick, which would be super effective onto the mouse hold. Onto that, the Dunsparce. I'm really liking it. They also have Bombardier. Is that how you pronounce it? Bombardier? Looks cool. Oh, Cinderace is going to be awesome. So I'm going to lead Cinderace here. Um, I could just lead a little bit of Tailwind action. I think Speed Control is going to be our best friend. So I'm going to go Tailwind. I'm going to bring Annihilate. But I'm going to bring Indeedee for a little bit of support in the back end. Actually, let's go War and Moon and Indeedee since it has that eject button. And I can follow me, get off a of Tailwind, eject button out, and then go from there. So I really do like that. I get down with that. I am kind of scared of Klefki. Klefki sets up some, up some mean screens. Always a problem. But we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it when we come, right? Screens are so good, yo. I wish I had Brick Break. I wish I was rocking Brick Break. That's one of my moves with somebody. Just to take off screens, because anytime you're going up against screens, it's just so hard to pick up KOs. It really is, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be chilling. A really cool team. They got the Co-Star Flamigo, so I'm thinking of like ways they can maybe like bulk up. I don't know. This seems like a pretty like weird team that might have some really crazy strategy to it. So I'm kind of scared. You guys know what I'm saying? When you go up against like a weird team that you don't, yeah, you haven't seen before, you're like, something's up. They're about to do something crazy. And occasionally you get those people who actually have some cool team synergies and they just like pull off something. Next thing you know, they're like plus six on attack and they're sweeping you. You're like, what just happened? <laughs> but it's always funny. It's always funny. Uh, we'll see who they want to lead here. Klefki's probably the lead, right? Klefki's really, really good. And there's Klefki alongside with the Dunsparce. The Dunsparce. So... I don't think... Can these guys pop Tricky? I don't think they can get Tricky with it. We know Screen's probably going to set off here. Um, we are going to pop the Tailwind. I think the rest of the squad can really benefit from the Tailwind. Actually, do we want to set up Tailwind? I kind of just want to Thrasilize and go for Acrobatics. My boy already outspeeds. And you know, I'm going to help you can the shot instead of following me. Someone's going to hit Indeedee regardless, so... I don't think we have to go for Tailwind. I'm gonna help we can look to get off as much damage as we possibly can. I mean, Reflect, probably coming out here, right? Probably. Chances are. Hopefully not. We would like to get off as much damage as we can, but we'll see what they want to do. Reflect. No Reflect. Actually, wait. Helping Hand might come out before Reflect. Really so they help Hand for the damage boost. No Reflect. We'd like that. We'd like that a lot. And Acrobat's gonna fly and do some big time damage. And of course this thing's buried. Of course this thing's buried. It's gonna go back up over half. And then he coils up. Oh, oh, that's ugly. That's real ugly. So coil comes out here. And what's Klefki doing? You gleaming? What are you doing, Klefki? Tricker. Okay, so good thing we did not go for that tail one. So from here. 
I guess I'll stick with my acrobatics and just go into the Dunsparce. I'll just Psychic. I'm looking to just double down on this thing. Klefki with the Tricker. Klefki with the Tricker. We do have Annihilate in the back, and it's pretty good, but out comes the Reflect. So screens... Oh, dude, Klefki's so good. Klefki's a champ. Coil coming out. Come on, man. What's up with these defense boosts? Getting real annoying. Attack boost, defense boost, and accuracy boost. This thing is not missing his moves. Psychic coming out here. We're looking to just do as much damage as we can. And then we can't with this. I don't think we can reflect plus two on defense. We get a crit or something. Oh, we KO'd. We get the crit. Let's go. Let's go. That's big time. That's big time. We'll take that all day. We'll take that all day. We needed that. Considering that thing boosted with screens, could have been a huge big time problem that we weren't ready to face. So we're sitting here. Our Ndidi still has eject button. I feel as we it's now time to start wasting our trick room turns because we have that Cinderace in the back end. Right, Waste Not Trick and Turn is going to be the best one. Citar is going to pop out here. Um, Sandstream is going to get cooking up. Rock Moon is going to do me a little dirty. So, you know what? I'm going to protect here. And, you know, I'm just going to double protect. Again, I want to waste out these Trick and Turns. I really want to waste out these Trick and Turns. My team's better off. So I'm going to double protect here. We're going to waste a turn Trick Room. And we'll, we'll figure things out from there. Because chances are Klefki's probably maybe just popping on Light Screen. And then on top of that, he's going for like a Rock Slide. So it's not that big of a deal. He goes for Thunder Wave, that's fine. It's weird that you're trying to slow down my Mora Moon. And there's the Rock Slide. So, really good double protector. Actually, I kind of want him to paralyze my Mora Moon. We might be able to get off another shot at that point, <laughs> which could be big time for us. If we do that. We could actually swap, but eh. I don't think swapping is going to be the play. I think we just take the Rock Slide and we die. So, from here, I could go for a Break and Swipe, lower the attack stat. I think we'll take that. I could go for follow me, but I'm just going to let the jack button take me out. So Thunder Wave comes out here. We do have the terrain. I think he just, I oh know we just dodged it. The second can fly here. Actually, Klefki's not affected by the terrain. If we do that, he goes for a rock slide. Dodge it. Who's dodging? Who dodged that? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Roar Moon dodges it. We can eject button out now. We can go into Annihilate. I wish I could see how many turns left in Trick Room, because I would love to go into Cinderace here, but I think there's at least one more turn left in Trick Room. I'm going to go into Annihilate, the chances are... Chances are they're going to, what's it called? Chances are they're going to Thrasilize the T-Tar, right? Um... Hmm. I think I just protect him more moon again. Let me see how many turns are left in these things. Reflex coming to an end. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Reflex coming to an end. Terrain's gonna end. Trick gonna end next turn. Uh, I want to start teeing off on this Klefki. I think T-Tar is Terrasalize, and so I might as well just go after his Klefki. And he does not Terrasalize. That's weird, but that actually might give a nice little turn to my... Uh, to my Roar Moon, which is big time. Because now he should be slower now. Rock Slide is actually gonna, he's still gonna outspeed and we're gonna be able to soak. Did I dodge that with Annihilate or did he just soak like that? Who just flinched? Who flinched? Really, my, my Annihilate flinched. We don't want him getting off another Trick Room turn. Trick Room's a problem. Trick Room's a problem, so that Drain Punch would've been huge. Probably and Terra, I might just go after him now. I might just go after him. So Trick Room is gonna be gone. Uh, they could set up another one. Oh my god, such, such a problem. Such a problem. Um. I'm thinking of just canceling out the trick room with my trick room, right? You know, I'm going to do this, and... I think just drain punching the Klefki. I think the T-Tar is going to terror soon, right? Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. So, now he terrestrializes. Uh, we're going to stick with the drain punch into Klefki slot. I think he gets rid of my... My Roaring Moon this turn, and then I can bring out Ndidi and just trick him on top of trick him to end it. And I don't know why I didn't do that originally, right? Instead of psychicking that one turn, I should just trick him to end trick him. Because I was trying to waste out trick him turns. I could have ended it right there. So he ends up Thunder Waving me. That's fine. Now I'm paralyzed. Breaking Swipe's gonna come out here first. That's big time. Because now Titar is minus two. So Titar is now minus two. He's gonna go for a Terror Blast into. Yes, into the air. So, you might be able to eat that up. Yeah, you do. Cool. 
Won't be paralyzed. Oh, dude, why am I losing so many turns right now? This is just embarrassing. This is just embarrassing. So we're losing a bunch of turns right now. We still have Cinderace in the back end. Still got the Cinder Cinder in the back end, which I really like. The Cinderace is chilling in the back end. Uh, we need to start doing some damage to T-Tar here. To Tar. Both of them so really got to go, because Trick is gone, but they're still at speedness, right? It's ugly. It's real ugly out here. Is, is Reflect still out? Yeah, they got Reflect for plenty of turns. Hearts of Soul. Acrobatics now in that slot. We'll try to get off the Drain Punch, get off some more time, more damage, but this is rough for us. This is rough. Hoping they don't set up Trick Room. That's our, only, that's our way of winning this. He withdraws a T-Tar. That's fine. And who are you going into? Is the real question. Going to Bomb Birdie Air. I think sick. And Light Screen's going to pop here. So he sets off the Light Screen. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I think we're fine with that. One of my Pokemon's paralyzed. It's ugly. Can you hit Annihilate? Thank you. Drain Punch coming out here. We're dealing some damage. We're getting some HP back. The Bomb Birdie Air comes out here. This thing's terrifying. <laughs> I could protect this turn, which I'm really thinking of doing. Sandstorm is gone. Okay. This dude. Rank battles are where it's at. These are some good battles. Hopefully you guys are enjoying them. This Cleffy is actually doing some work. Uh, we're going to Acrobatics down the bird. And do I protect get some HP back? Yeah, I'm going to protect. Watch, I'm going to be paralyzed this time. It's going to be ugly. It's going to get real ugly. I don't think they trick him. I really don't see that happening. Flex up issue, man. They got to make more moves that take out screens, man. I feel like they do make a lot, like plenty of moves that do take out screens. It's just like we just don't use them too much because it's just like a waste. So it goes for a Thunder Wave again. I, I don't understand that play there. I guess it doesn't really have any moves to go for. And Acrobat's gonna fly, which is cool because we get off some nice damage onto the bird. And I think the bird is going after Annihilate. We're gonna Rock Slide. Ooh, Rock Slide on the bird. He's gonna take out my my Pokemon. Okay, so Protect wasn't too bad. Uh. Trickham's gone. It's now time to bring out Cinderace. Cinderace is finally getting some showcase. And it's only match number two. It's only match number two. We're having some good matches here. So he's probably going to Thunder Wave me, right? It's probably the correct statement. And we're going to go from there. So, you know what? We're doing this. We're going in Cinderace here. I could follow, I could follow me, but... I feel as we should be able to eat up a Rock Slide. So from here, I'm going to go into a Pyro Ball. I'm going to get rid of Klefki. This thing's too much of a pain. I'm not dealing with Klefki. I'm going to get rid of Klefki. And if I can get off a... I'm going to go for... I think Rage Fist will do more damage. Actually, the thing is... Uh, nice little type. So Thunder Wave comes out here. We've seen that from 15,000 miles away. It's so annoying. And Cinderace might still be able to outspeed. Cinderace is a fast little guy. He's got the choice too. Nope, Dual Wing becomes out here. And we're dead to that. So this is, this is rough for us. This is rough. So my boy goes down. We do wing beat. Can you not be paralyzed? Because RNG's screwing us over so far today. It's been rough today. We do get rid of Clefki. So Cinderace came. Coming in hot. Um. And I don't think we win. I don't think we have a shot at this battle. The reflect is finally gone. Um. Hmm. We go into Indeedy. We know these guys both have Rock Slide. We know Rock Slide is a, is a scary thing here. You know Rock Slide's a scary thing here. Um, do I Helping Hand Pyro Ball? So I should be able to outspeed that T-Tar, but T-Tar is bulked. I'm gonna Helping Hand Pyro Ball this thing. Wait, how many? They still have Light Screen. I'm not dealing with that. I'm going with Helping Hand. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. what a match. What a match. We might lose this one. This is looking not good for us. The rock side's scary. The helping hands can come out here. Bombardier should go first. And then my Pyro Ball guy should go next. Rock side's gonna fly here. Cinderace, you should be able to soak that. You do soak that. Can you KO with this? Don't tell me I flinched. Dude, what is up with the RNG doing me bad today? Not even today. This match, I should say, yo, paralyzes left and right. We got flinched a couple times. Rough, rough, rough second match, but still pretty solid all around. Pretty solid all around. We got Cinerace out there a little bit. Again, RNG do me dirty. We had a shot at that one, but we flinched. We'll hop to that third and final match. Use Cinerace a little bit more and grab you guys a winning record.
final match is on its way and it's pretty cool we're going up against a Cinderace team so I'm definitely bringing Cinderace of my own they also have Toxapec they got Ndidi they got Regilecki Palafin and Galarian Zapdos but yo the first two battles have been awesome so far if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button yet make sure you guys click that big red subscribe button because we got some long drawn out battles for you guys today but uh who should we lead how should we go into it I could definitely go Trick Room like Trick Room could be a solid call for us I kind of like maybe leading Cinderace with a choice scarf to get off some damage early here and then maybe setting up the Trick Room with Ndidi or even Armors right hmm what do I want to do here I mean I have a Jack button with Ndidi what is my play what is my play Ndidi Armors maybe follow me set up the Trick Room I want to lead Cinderace. You know, we're going to take speed with Tailwind. That's going to be the play. We're going to take speed with Tailwind. I'm a little scared of the Vegeleki who might get the lead, but we can choose Scarf and outspeed that. I'll bring a Nihilape in the back end, and then I'm thinking of just having like Ursaluna or maybe Armors as the final Pokemon, right? And your speed's not terrible. 104, it's not terrible. They might set it with the Ndidi of their own, so we're going to go into that. Let's go in with Armors. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record for the first time in the brand new rank season, considering the last video. We showcased a really good team. We just grabbed ourselves a losing record. Got some crazy losses. If you guys want to go check out that video, it's actually hilarious. We get up out of our chair and we leave the room <laughs> at the end of the third battle. Because we get screwed, man. We get screwed. It was tough. Well, let's see. They go Palfin. They go Zapdos. Uh, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I could Trailblaze here. I could Terrastalize. I could do a lot. I could do a lot. But Tailwind, definitely going to be our friend. I'm going to boost our energy up. Um... I might just try to get after that bird. Could you turn out? What do I think bird's doing? What do I think that bird's doing? I don't think I'm just you turning out on the palafin slot. And then just terrestrialize and hit this thing with acrobatics. That's my play. That's my play. I'm terrestrializing. He's just so good terrestrializing with. This is awesome. I'm gonna go into that. Um, we'll see what they want to do from here. This Palafin's gonna be scary. It's definitely scary. Though. I know he can jet punch me right now, but I don't think it's gonna KO me. And I think that's not what he's doing. That's I don't know what he's doing. Dakarbacks can KO you. We're gonna be able to outspeed this pal and you turn it out before it even hits you with that water move. Probably going for a wave crash. Makes the most sense. Well, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm switching the bug type. I'm switching. Bang. You're gone. You're gone. Way out of here. So I'm gonna switch into uh, Annihilate here. Annihilate should be able to bulk up the wave crash, right? It's gotta be wave crash, if anything. I would love to get Cinderace back out here if I can. Now you're going for a flip turn. I totally forgot that Palafin's used Flip Turn. A lot of them don't even use them anymore. He tries Flip Turn into me. That's fine. We get some Rage rage Boost out here. Rage Fist Boost. And I would love to get Cinderace back out, out here. I might hard swap into Cinderace. Oh, and they go into Indeed. Wow, so they cannot even first turn priority anymore. We like that. We like that a lot. We love that, actually. We love that. He's going to Psychic Seeds for Special Defense Boost. I can sell Acrobatics into that. And they might just go in the Palafin here. They can go right back in the Palafin, but I highly doubt it, right? Seems like it's not the play. It really depends who they go into from here. I might swap into Cinderace. So Toxapex comes out here. Um, Shiny Toxapex. That looks awesome. That looks really, really cool. And I feel as from here, we're going to swap into Cinderace. I'm going to swap right into the Cinder. And I'm gonna go into an acrobatics into the toxic spec slot. They may follow me. They may, they may not. We're gonna swap into Cinderace because again, the uh, the psychic move might come out here. And indeed, he would have been, a, oh, not indeed. And an armorage could have been a good swap, but I want to showcase Cinderace a little bit more. So acrobatics gonna fly. No follow me comes out here. Someone's got to be targeting down my uh, my roaring moon, right? And there's the psychic, so I'm gonna be able to soak that up. That's fine. She did a lot of damage, a bit too much. And ice is gonna fly here. So Icy Wind comes out here. We're still fine on speed. Um, I might U-turn out again. I'm not even gonna lie. I might U-turn out here. Get my speed back and get some big time damage off on these Pokemon. Might be my play. Might be my play. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it's, it's my best play. 
And I'll double down into Indeedee. Yeah, I still outspeed. Cinderace definitely still outspeeds both these guys. We're only minus one. We still have the choice scarf. We're thriving, so I'll just U-turn again. I'll get my speed back here. Acrobax, you're still faster. Wow, you're cooking. Acrobax can come in here hot. Deal some big time damage. U-turn should be able to do enough damage to finish that off. So Cinderace coming in hot here in the back end. We'll still have him for late game with the choice scarf. We get rid of Ndidi. Ndidi's going. He's a goner. He's probably going into an icy win. And if you are going into an icy win, I'm going to go into Annihilate here. Or you know what? Armor is going to be the play. I want to go into armors. I want to win the armors. We got the terrain out here. Get some expanded forces. Super effective. What are you going to do? Annihilate. I should have went with my gut, man. Should have went with my gut. But speed's fine. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I'm not too worried about the tox specs, right? And all I need is armors to get off one more expanding force. And that's pretty much game. But yeah, that would have been a good time to go into Annihilate. But I should have. I should have went with my gut. But I... I I second guessed myself because I was like, dude, terrain's out here. If I can get out this uh, this guy right here, and this one works out perfectly. Actually, no, it doesn't. He's just gonna kill me with a wave crash, but I'm still gonna target him down. So from here, um, what should I Terra? I guess we'll just go into an expanding force. He can't go for first and priority, so I'm just gonna go into an acrobatics in that slot. I don't think we're seeing bad. I don't think we're seeing terribly. Let's see what he ends up doing. Is he gonna terrestrialize? He is gonna terrestrialize. So it's the, the Terra is coming out here. That Palafin has to take out my armor. It's a must. He has to he has to take out my armors. If he doesn't, that's game. It's game set match. And we actually outspeed it. Wow. Even minus a couple. And we believe on red. That kinda hurts. Wave crash comes out here. Go after my war moon. Nah, you're gonna take out my armor. So smart call from him. He's gonna die to recoil damage. So that's gonna be game set match regardless. So GG's. I'm gonna bring back out Cinderace. We're gonna get the ball rolling. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. But solid third and final match. Cinderace getting some work done. We cooking it up here. And he's gonna toxic. Now you die going to toxic. Should have done that years ago. So I'm gonna take a bad poison, but yo, come on, man. Cinderace team grabbing ourselves our first winning record. We love it. We love it. Came close in the second match, so we almost had ourselves a perfect record. But our opponent played really good. More so, I should have taken out Klefki earlier, but be like that. Sometimes the, the, the support Pokemons go 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 under the radar, right? They go under the radar. We bring back out the Cinder. I would love to use Pyro Ball, but I can't. I, I might as well just go into Trailblaze. I could go into U-turn. U-turn. Ah, no. Trailblaze is their best bet. Deal as much damage as we can with Trailblaze. We'll go into an Acrobatics and just keep chunking up damage on this thing. Trailblaze coming out. We're now Grass type too, which is pretty cool. <laughs> grass injuries. Trailblaze doing like five damage. We do get a speed boost. I'm surprised this guy hasn't canceled match yet. We're out speeding his toxic effect. We're doing some damage. And next turn we'll be able to kill it unless it protects. Oh, come on with that. Come on with that. Come on with that. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. That's not cool at all. Do I swap into Annihilate? Potentially, right? This is this is kind of annoying. You're gonna make this one hard for me? I doubt he protects, yes. Yeah, cool, he's not protecting. Oh, he might recover next turn. We're just gonna trailblaze. We'll get the speed boost, whatever, blah blah blah. Acrobat's gonna fly. Can we just get a crit or something? Make make life easier. Cause we're gonna win this match. It's just a matter of how long is it gonna take. All right, now it's time to get out Annihilate. We're bringing out Annihilate. We're going to swap uh, Cinderace for Annihilate. Come on, you want to play games? We'll play games. We'll play games. I'll play games with you all day. You want to play games? We'll play games. Because eventually, Roar Moon's going to die out. I think next poison might take us out. No, we can survive one more poison, which is good. Now it's going to be time to swap into you. We're going to Acrobatics. We'll keep dealing as much damage as we can. And, and then our, I know our opponent's making it hard for us, but these are ranked battles, man. Like... People, people love to get their rank up. They love, they love to push the rank. They love it. So he's gonna recover again. We already see that happen. And now I get out of Nihilate. Um, hmm. I do have leftovers. So I start bulking up. 
You might start bulking up because he might recover again or he might toxic me. I should be able to eat that, right? Cool. So I'm able to eat that one up and get off another acrobatics. Um, I'm going to bulk up. And I guess I'll go into another acrobatics. He might toxic me. I don't know. Kind of want him to toxic me. Like get off some damage there. Let's see if he's going to throw it out. We're going to bulk up. It's great. And we'll start boosting our attack set. You recovering or are you toxicing? He's going to toxic me now. That's fine. He can toxic me up. Um, I'm going to die out to this move. Um, gotta start punching. Gotta start punching. Where do I bulk up? Gotta start punching. Rather annoying. So we get some leftovers HP. Wow, the attack specs actually doing some work. <laughs> Low key, this thing getting some work done. Do I bulk up? I might bulk up. I might bulk up this turn. So if he's gonna recover and we're not doing enough damage, we have to bulk up. So we're gonna go into you. Uh, do I stick with Trailblaze? Definitely want to bulk up again. We'll let this poison take another hit on us. I say we go for this. Let's go for Pyroball. Maybe we can get a burn. You never know. Pyroball's going to cook. How much damage is he going to do? That's a decent amount of damage. More than Trailblaze. We don't get the burn. We get the bulk up going here. Let's see what he does. Is he going to toxic me? He might just toxic me here. Or he might recover. And he's going to toxic me. That's fine. Okay, so Toxic's on the field. Let's get some hits off. Protect would be the smart play here. If he does have it, but I don't know if he has. He has Icy when he has recovered. He has Toxic, and Protect's got to be the last move. We just haven't seen it yet. All right, now it's time. Let's get it. Our opponent's making it hard for us. So poison. How much damage is that done? Yeah, you can eat up another one. Annihilate. So can you. You can eat up a few more. Annihilate. And Drain plus Drain Punch gives us HP. It's gonna be not very effective, which kind of sucks. But I guess we'll just go with Rage Fist. Rage Fist Pyro Ball. Pyroball coming out here. How much damage? Give me a crit or something. That's some nice damage. Rage Fish, can you just finish this game off? Do us a favor. You're plus two. You're plus two. Get after it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would have been so upset if I would have lost that talk spec. But yo, still, GG's to our opponent. I like how he at least attempted it. And that got me a little scared for a little bit. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 2 and 1 for today's video. What a set of matches on the rank ladder. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy that. We got Cinderace out there a couple of times, plus the rest of the squad with the Trick Room was absolutely phenomenal. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.